Okay, I think we're somewhat done for the morning because I probably because I know Pig Maker is going to make a uh, version two come out like in about several hours. So I want to do an update video for them immediately, right? But with that being said, busy, busy day, and oh my god, I think I'm finally getting through my little my work queue here. I, I, mean, I haven't even touched Jesse Lee Pearson's show yet because yeah, I'm just so backed up with work. So anyway, first special shout out to good old buddy of mine, Elk Renzo. Well, just just Renzo, <laughs> right? So he actually asked me to kind of cover. Uh, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Zome Finance? Because I, I keep almost calling it Toom, right? So I, he basically asked me to do this as a personal fair to him, so of course uh, I obliged. And, you know, the developer for Zome actually seems, you know, very, uh, very open minded, so that's very important and good, right? So hopefully, and he, and according to Renzo, you know, he's dedicated to trying to revive this project, so apparently this was down under or something at one point. So uh, we'll see how that goes, all right? Uh, but anyway, definitely check out Renzo. He definitely uh, does really good work too, and of course he could. Oh, also, unlike me, you know, he's actually not lazy with the, uh, you know, thumbnails, all right, and stuff. Or I guess he hire, I, I guess he hires someone. And he also covers some projects that I also don't cover because there's there's literally like 11, 50 trillion million of these like projects all over the place. So yeah, let's see. Actually, let's take a look. Uh, so he's done in Cygnus Finance, which I did not do. It's launching in five hours, so it's probably live. Uh, yeah, because I think the moderator, OX Diane or Dino or whatever his name is, for Caesar Finance is actually heading in Cygnus Finance. Uh, so I don't know, you can check that out. Actually, check out Renzo's video on that. Uh, he's got Hamster Gem. Oh, so he did, so he did a new video on Hamster. New LP 40%. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Renzo's definitely good at finding, like, the really good, like, you know, because I'm more of a detailed, specific type of guy, as you can tell. You know, but, you know, Renzo, I guess, is, like, you know, he'll find, like, the best, like, hot, well, the highest APY, and then he'll, he'll obviously put that here. He also tells you how much money he's up, right? I mean, I mean, you can't see this, but when I mouse over, it says... This was some six days ago, so obviously Peg Maker is going to come out version two. So I mean, I don't know if Renzo is still going to come back into Peg Maker if he's still in it, because I chose to stay in Peg Maker. I really like Peg Maker. All right, I already did the video on that. All right, so he said he's up twenty two hundred bucks in eight hours. So I guess if you want to if you want to make a lot of money, right? You don't hear me ramble all day. I, obviously yeah, well, check what out, is going on, guys? Check it's... out Renzo. I'm definitely going to watch this video too, because. I actually, because the one thing with code, about Code 7, and we'll get the Zoom, is I don't know if they were actually buying real estate. So apparently they are. So that's probably why Code 7 is also flying right now, which is great, because I never left Code 7. Because, again, they're using the smart APR system, right? I call it 2.0. And after I do my video on it, I'm, I think it's going to be a 3.0, right? Because i got to factor in uh, printer financial. Oh, okay, so I don't know too much about this project, so I'm going based on what I kind of been seeing. So right off the bat, there's why are there five here? Oh, oh, because of the bonds. Okay, so right off the bat, there is actually four pools, and I did tell Renzo to tell the dev that he has to be very careful. The dev that is not to keep adding too many more pools because the more pools that you add, the more diluted the reward share, uh, re reward pool gets, which lowers the APR of everything, right? Two ohm and three ohm is dying. Snow tomb is dying. And then into, I mean, I don't know what happened with Zilla Finance because I haven't checked. I dumped it a long time ago and I just kind of left ever since David Zilla said, we're not going to do a layer two. I, I was just like, I was just so frustrated at that. I was like, all right, you know what, whatever. And he obviously changed his mind because now Kong Finance is out, but I, I just don't care anymore. I don't know. Maybe if, I mean, I see people commenting on it. I'll guess I'll add it to the content queue. So right off the bat, I told him you gotta be very careful, right? Because why did all those projects I mentioned just die? Because they have like 50 trillion different li li reward pools, right? It's kind of like the same problem. I didn't actually mention this in the last video when I did V3S Finance, but. One of the actually, maybe I did slightly talk about it, but I should have talked about it more. I was just so overwhelmed with like all the info. But that's my point. 
when you have that many pools, it gets so overwhelming that what happens, right? This is why I told Brendel to tell a dev, right? People are just going to tune out. They're like, hey, there's just too much, just too many choices. This is actually a marketing thing in real life, right? Uh, I forgot what it's called, but if there's too many choices, a, a customer, or in this case, an investor, is going to do one of two things. One, they're going to leave. They're not going to do anything, which is obviously going to kill your project. Or number two, they'll always go with like the, the, the most obvious choice that they always have done. All right? Do not overwhelm your investor with too many re reward pools. And the thing is, it's kind of a problem because he kind of does need to add it. So I don't know what he's going to do. It, he has to go no more than five. Six at the absolute maximum. And I think I, at that point, six is just too many. Already, you're already pretty too many at four or five. Like the, Actually, the one thing I just realized that I don't see here is if you really want to make sure your zone peg does well, you need a single stake. That, that, that's always like the go-to choice. That's what Apex Finance does, right? Apex Finance over here. Wow, they've been doing so freaking well. I don't know. The, right now, Phantom is having a heart, a heart attack at the RPC because everyone's buying up crypto right now. Because obviously, I assume it's actually the Russians or people dealing with Russia buying up Bitcoin. Because obviously, as I said yesterday, I tweeted out and was also on Disclosed.tv. You know, Russia will not accept Bitcoin for oil, right, to get around the sanctions. So anyway, Apex really doesn't have much going for it, but they managed to like come back from literally the dead. Why? Because of this. Oh, hey, this is they added a new statistics page. That's actually pretty awesome. It's because of this. This is literally all Apex Finance does. Just three pools. That's it. All right, and they did really effing well. All right, and they used the smart APR system last time I checked, which was a long time ago. But I know they're using the APRs. I they obviously know what they're doing, right? So that's all Zome has to do too. But uh, now the let me see. Okay, so the so the main reason why there's complexity in this already is because they're trying to help out Three Ohm because I think they because yeah, as they're, they they said they have some kind of partnership with Three Ohm, right? So that's why they're trying to help them out. Uh, let's see. How would I do this? I mean, it's almost impossible. You, I mean, the problem is you're gonna have the same problem as two and three on where you have like fifty different. Yep, yeah, they they have like what six, seven, maybe eight reward. What was their site? Three on. I know it's three on. Is it three on finance? I hope this is not the scam site. Oh, I better really check because you never know, man. These three, three, three ohm finance, uh, two ohm finance. This I remember. Okay, I want to make sure it's not the scam site. So yeah, it was three ohm dot finance. Okay, so let's let's see what three ohm has been doing. Oh, great, I gotta connect. Okay. Uh, boy, they're resorting to bonds, and they have five pools. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like what happens. It's, just, it's already too much. Yeah, there's, there's, they've been under peg for like since forever. All right. So definitely, he cannot add any more pools. That's my first thing. But if he had to add one, believe it or not, I would just add zone. Right? Focus on your on yourself. So let's say. So what does this do? Right? So you would have to pull money reward pools from say this from the Z share pools. You can you can you can leave Z, you can leave Zone USDC and Zone Three Ohm alone, right? But you can maybe draw a little bit of reward pools from Zone Z shares and Z share USDC because Zone. And this is part of the part of the thing because like the dev is actually going to be watching this, so I'm going to actually explain it more in depth. What I think is the best move, right? And then I know Renzo gave you his suggestions, and you just make your decision then. Um, so if you don't want to mess with the, because 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 believe it or not, the peg dash share LP is okay because it counts as. Oh, good. The APR, the, the, the RPC is working. This actually counts as like helping the peg because obviously it's not you don't get the full eight percent a day you actually get half because the other half is also keeping the Z shares but half of the rewards that's 
you know, if you compound it, is going to buying the, the, the base pay token, which is zone, all right? So it's, it's fine. So all you have to do, I think, the simplest solution is, I mean, I really don't want you to have to add a fifth pool, but I think you kind of maybe, I mean, it's up to you, but if you had to add one, there's only one more you should add, which is single stake zone, all right? Because you want you want what this is you want what they did here at Apex. Wait, wrong wrong one. All right, Apex at one point was worth like twenty cents. It was far below pay, and all they did was just leave it at this. I remember distinctly it was at one point. I don't, the RPC is screwed up right now. At one point it was down to forty thousand TVL. Look at them now. They're almost holy shit. They're almost at a million dollars. In fact, they're actually worth. A little more than you guys over here in zone right and they also have been renounced for a long time <laughs> so clearly you know what works right I you I clearly know what works so I would just add single stake zone and that's it right the re I thought about maybe adding three ohm but the problem is you'll have two extra reward pools you will be splitting the reward pool right which lowers the APR of everything and everyone's just gonna dump on your project because now you're making a shit, shitty amount of money, right? But more importantly, if Zome is, yeah, I just game through this out. If Zome is worth this much, then it naturally pulls up three ohm anyway. Because let's say Zome is instead of thirty-five cents, you had the single stake pool. Now this thing is like three dollars. That's way too high. But just, I'm just trying to drive the point home. Let's say it ten x's. So what does that do? That means you have to buy a shit ton of three ohm to to the LP Zome. To LP this makes sense. So you're already bringing up three ohm by bringing up zone. That's all you have to do, and you won't have to overwhelm everybody with like, you know, basically share reward dilution. That's what the that's the term I'm looking for. So I would add single stake zone, and then I would take and the rewards for that come from the Z share LPs. You have to play. I mean, the problem is I don't see any of your documentation where the reward, I mean, there's basically nothing in the documentation. You have to be very careful about how much you want to draw. And I guess you don't need that much, but something enough, like, like a few percent daily APR, just to make sure it's attractive enough. And then, and, then, and, then you just, and then you just let this carry out. But obviously the idea is to put so much buying pressure and incentive pressure on Zome that basically your whole project will, will work. All right, and the best part is, hilariously enough, is that three ohm is worth so little that it should be kind of easy to maintain peg anyway. All right, but because you're tied to three ohm, what's going to happen when three ohm spikes in price? Right, you know, then then you have a problem. But apparently, uh, this project did not renounce contracts. So I also told Renzo you could just simply set the peg. So first of all, you should just get rid of the peg. The pegs don't actually do anything in Tomb Forks except like screw up the project. Right, Printer Financial has no peg, and they're they're actually them and Code Seven are literally the best team forks in the world. That's it. Like the, the no contest. Right, Printer doesn't. Printer Financial has no peg. Right, so that means the shares are always worth. I've said this before, but I'll mention it again because I know the dev you're, you're watching this. I don't think you're. I don't know if you're familiar with my work, but I'm going to assume that you're not. So I'm explaining it for you specifically, so you know. Because I actually chose to invest in your project, so I'm actually in Zone USD CLP. So, yeah. So just change your peg from one x three o to like zero point one or zero point zero one. Basically, just try to get rid of the peg. Because when you do that, that means your boardroom will always be printing over here, right? And it looks like it's a like and when it's always valuable, that means the share price will always be kind of stable compared to everything else, and therefore people will, you know, keep having the. So people always buy your shares, which means people will. Oh, that means your daily APR farms on the peg token will always be worth something because people will keep staking here because that's what I like to see, right? Because I don't do shares anymore, right? I want something like this. If the RPC of this, this is why I hate Phantom so much. Like it doesn't, nothing ever works when I need it to. So you know, so I want my steady seven percent of the day, right? This only happens when the share price is worth something. So when it's no longer worth anything, I get screwed, right? And that's why everyone dumps on your project, and then you lose everything. 
So do you see how the system works? You need a positive, you know, price cycle thing upwards. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here too. Yeah, probably because crypto markets are going up, so everything's getting bought up. So, so yeah, you, you got very good timing too. So, pick a very good time because cryptocurrencies are going much, much higher, going much, much higher. So anyway, yeah, single, yeah, this that definitely looks correct. Yeah, just single stake zone. Just make sure you correctly allocate an okay amount of rewards to it. Obviously, you have to draw from at least two out of four, or maybe you could draw from all of these pools. I mean, it's gonna hurt me a little bit here in Zom USDC, but hey, you know, it, it, if it, if it, yeah, because what happens is if this if the buying pressure on the pay token zone goes up, then that means the value of the shares goes up because now people are like, holy shit, I need to print the boardroom, buy the shares, buy the shares, and then that increases the APR, and you know, your thing starts working again. Ah, oh, okay, so, oh man, oh, God, I don't want to deal with it. All right, so I have to try to find out what the daily APR is on this. 7.26, 3.3. .3. Okay, so I'll write 3% to 8% a day, All right? And of course, with so much buying pressure on the base pay token zone, that means people who are actually who actually choose to do the Z shares in this case, ironically, not to be confused with David Zilla's Zilla Finance Z shares. You'll be enjoying pretty good APRs. At the very least, you should hopefully enjoy, you know, better price stability, right? So everybody wins. Everybody wins. So yeah, I'm gonna have to write this in my sticky notes here. Uh, Three percent to eight percent. So I don't forget. Uh, but for the most part, and the reason why I'm in Zone USDC is I really don't want to be buying free ohm, right? You know, I mean, I have my own little personal thing. There, but I mean, obviously, if you believe in three ohm, you should still buy. It. In fact, I think it says it said somewhere that you should be actually be doing. Was it actually on this page? Oh yeah, it was right here. All right, use twenty percent of your rewards to buy zone three ohm LPs in order to protect the peg. Uh, funny enough, that's actually some. That's that's mostly true, yeah. But eventually, if you add zone single stake, you would. Uh, Make sure you change. Make sure you add to this message. Also buy the single stake, and it'll be exactly like uh, Apex Finance. All right, things will work out very, very well, and then hopefully you'll be able to help out um, three O, which will ultimately help out two O. Oh, God, this this is so confusing. Yeah, and then everybody wins, and then when Peg Maker version two comes out later in like a few hours, hopefully. Actually, I gotta check the Discord. Uh, I don't see anything new. Okay, now Dow King's whispering me. Oh God, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna have any free time today at all. All right, I, I can't even read Dow King's message yet because I gotta. Let me just look real quick. Uh, do you know for sure the use fire dough? I even saw you use some. Uh, so, uh, is that stuff real? Uh, doing videos now, but I'll talk to you in a in a bit. But I think so. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's. I'll, uh, I'll explain why. Yeah. Well, I heard about it, but I think so. Yes, I'll explain why. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right. So aside from that, uh, well, he said he wants to. I don't know. This looks kind of. I mean, this thing is obviously. This was from ten days ago. So I'm not sure why Renzo said that they're trying to revive this project. I mean, they've only been live for 10 days. I don't know. I, maybe there's a version 2 of this, but I, I guess I don't really care because obviously this is the live version. Okay, and oh, I forgot to mention, what's nice about this project too is some of the, the LPs also use USDC. So well, stability is always pretty good. Um, so, so again, this is using the smart APR system at minimum, right? Uh, but he's got to be very careful because there's a lot of tools here, right? And I've already rambled on about that. So I think a single stake zone only. Do not do two. Do not do a single stake three ohm. You want a single stake zone, all right? Because you're the alpha male of this project, right? Zone is the alpha male, so he always goes first, all right? That's how hierarchies work. All right, if you screw up the hierarchy, everything collapses. That's why America and the Western powers are losing everything, and Russia and China and now India and the Middle East 
specifically Saudi Arabia, are moving away from the United States, right? Because it's the same, it's the same dumb BS, right? That's just how humans work, right? We don't want to be tied to the loser. We want to be tied to the winner, all right? If you want to help the loser, which is what I encourage everyone, then you have to become the winner, all right? Don't get dragged down. You drag them up with you, not the other way around, if that makes sense. And I could kind of tell from the daily APR, and I assume the boardroom is working, that this does print a lot of money, all right? And, you know, I'm not too comfortable with the crazy inflation rate, right? But, you know, I think it's okay because this thing is doing obviously pretty well, right? Because all the money that is stuffed into the USDC pools, you know, is really hyperinflating your TVL. So that, oh shit, don't click that. It, it working pretty well. So, yeah, I think all you have to do is zone. Yeah, I'm very confident. It's, all you have to do is single stake zone. That's all you need. And allocate an okay amount of shares to it. Uh, so aside from that, I think that's it. So check out Zone Finance, right? Check out Renzo, because I'm doing this uh, as personal fare to him. And, and I am personally invested in Zone USDC, because, again, I really don't want three ohms. But, you know, it does say, I don't want to click it again, but it does say 20% of your awards, you know, go buy up some Zone 3 ohm. And I think this is still like the most TVL thing. Yeah, yeah. I I checked already, but this is two hundred five thousand. So that's why the APR is a little lower because there's so much money invested in here. Uh, it's also possible maybe do not even add a new pool. So it's just tough because there's just too many reward pools. So it's a little whatever. Oh, come on. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to wait on the RPC because I can't figure out how much it, I can't see how much is in here. But, yeah, there's a lot of money stuffed in these pools already. So, yeah. Anyway, check this out. It's already quite cheap. And, man, how the money have fallen? Two and three of them have been hit so hard. Yeah. But. I don't know, I think, I think uh, I mean, it's definitely a noble cause. So, and as always, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, you know, put a little bit of money in every little project, because that's what I do. So just in case, you know, things do go belly up, you don't lose everything, right? Because that's basically what happened to me with Metaverse Pro, right? And now, you know, I thank God for Sphere Finance, because, you know, they're basically making me pretty much whole yet again. So now I'm able to just keep doing these, uh, you know, these, these crappy, these lovable, these lovable crappy YouTube videos that I just love. I just literally hit the record button. I don't do anything else. <laughs> it, it works out great. All right, I'm gonna go because now I'm like, I got to talk to Del King. I got like 11 trillion things I got to have to do. I'm not. At least the sun's out. I don't even know I'll be able to go for my walk. I really got. I've been getting. I haven't. I've not been losing weight. I've been slowly gaining weight. So I really need to exercise too. So check out Renzel's YouTube, check out Zombie, Zombie, Zome Finance, and, I don't know, decide uh, how you want to, mm. I'm trying to force out this burp, it doesn't want to come, I really hate it when you, when I have to burp but doesn't want to come out, then it's like that really annoying little middle ground thing, which I don't like, I mean, I like being in the middle ground, but just not when it comes to burping. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably be Peg Maker version 2.0, and I definitely, I definitely see like the, there's potential in this project, right? Zone Finance, right? So I don't I have no idea how many people are on his team, right? Or he's outsourcing devs. I want to assume he's outsourcing devs unless I'm told otherwise, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? In fact, it's a, that's actually probably recommended because. You don't have to have a constant expenses drain, you know, all the time, right? Because when you hire someone, you have to pay them every week or every month or every two weeks, right? It's an ongoing expense, and right? it's very expensive. And um, yeah, just do it just that way how you want to play this. So yeah, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you probably in a little bit. Hopefully, I'll get like, uh, hopefully I get a little bit of me time to myself. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Like, subscribe, share the video, share the channel. Um, actually, probably join the Discord. And again, this stupid RPC. But, but yeah, there's a lot of money invested in this project. So very, very good sign. Very good sign. Okay. So you know this project is not going to die anytime soon, unless like 
I don't know. I, I, I guess it falls very far below peg, but so far it, it's it's doing pretty well. It's doing pretty well. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. And 25 minutes and 10 seconds. Well, I did have to do an explainer, right? Because I know the dev has to watch this, so you know. All right. So I don't even know what your name is, but uh, good luck. Uh, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. You're you're, you're actually doing pretty well. You know, your share is basically 100 bucks a piece, and you're almost 2.0 above peg, right? So, all right, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? Thanks.